Are you feeling a bit uneasy about transferring crypto? You want to hold for the long term? Off of exchanges to a wallet you completely control and manage. Are you waiting for your new cold storage hardware wallet to arrive? Or have you not taken that step yet? Hello, I'm Crypto Casey, and in this video, we will walk step by step together through a simple and easy process of safely setting up a crypto wallet on our mobile phones and transferring our crypto to it from exchanges. Be sure to check out our sponsors, Proton, NordVPN, and Ledger. Protect your core account privacy with Proton's Swiss-based encrypted email, file storage, and calendar. Protect your data, privacy, and crypto investments by using virtual private network services with NordVPN. And protect your long-term crypto holdings with cold storage hardware wallets provided by Ledger. Check them all out using the links in the description area below. Awesome, let's set up our crypto wallets. All right, so we're going to make this a quick and easy tutorial. So when you have about 20 minutes to spare, please make sure to check out my ultimate beginner's guide to crypto wallets by clicking on the link above. After watching it, you will feel a lot more comfortable with managing your own crypto from better understanding how crypto wallets work on a conceptual level. Nice, so let's get started. On your mobile device, open the mobile app store and type Coinbase wallet in the search bar. Note that this is separate from the Coinbase exchange and is a crypto wallet of which you own and completely control the private key, which means you own and completely control any crypto stored in it. Cool. Once you locate the correct and official Coinbase wallet app, download it to your mobile device. After the installation is complete, open the Coinbase wallet app. On the welcome screen, tap create new wallet. Next, you will need to pick a username. With this username, other Coinbase wallet app users will be able to send crypto and NFTs to your username versus the long complicated public addresses we normally see with other crypto transactions. So enter a username and note, you can check a box to allow others to search for your username and this option can be changed later if you need to. Then tap submit. Next, you will see a screen with 12 words prompting you to back up your wallet. Your secret recovery phrase is used to recover access to your crypto if you lose your phone or switch to a different wallet. Save these 12 words in a secure location. I recommend somewhere offline and never share them with anyone. Again, please take the 20 minutes to watch my complete guide about how crypto wallets work in order to further understand the importance of keeping your crypto wallet secret recovery phrase a secret because anyone with these words can use them to access your crypto and steal them all in a snap. Below are options to back up on iCloud, which I do not recommend because if your iCloud account is hacked or compromised, you could lose all of your crypto. So I recommend backing up your secret recovery phrase manually offline, like by writing it on several different pieces of paper in different locations and eventually getting a cold storage hardware wallet with multiple steel plate backups in different geographical locations. But for now, just to keep this video short and sweet, Using this wallet is a better option than risking keeping crypto on exchanges right now until we realize the full effects of the recent FTX contagion. Sweet. So tap the backup manually button. And next we will see a screen that reiterates, you saved it, right? And requires you to verify that you saved your secret recovery phrase by tapping the first, then the last 12th word. After that, tap continue. And next you will see a screen that says protect your wallet. This extra layer of security helps prevent someone with your phone from accessing your funds. Tap the checkbox to agree to the terms and privacy policy. Then you can choose to use Face ID if your phone has this feature or create a passcode. Nice. Next, you will see a screen saying the app is creating your wallet. And then you will see an update that says Coinbase Wallet app is updating all usernames to become decentralized and powered by ENS which stands for Ethereum Name Service. You can decide to check or uncheck the box to allow anyone to search for your username and see your profile details. Then check the box to agree to the subdomain terms and tap accept. Cool. You claimed your username and it's ready to send and receive crypto. Tap done. And you're done. Your very own self-custody wallet of which you completely own and control the private keys and your crypto is ready to go. There are many great features of this wallet app. And for this video, we are going to keep it simple by transferring our crypto from exchanges to our new self-custody crypto wallet together step-by-step. Step. So open your Coinbase wallet app and tap the receive button in the top right-hand corner. You will see a screen that shows your Ethereum address, your Solana address, your Bitcoin address, and other assets. If you tap on other assets, you will see options to receive cryptocurrencies that use different blockchains for transactions like Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Stellar, and XRP. So you can easily copy your receiving address for each of these options, or you can view the corresponding QR codes. 
An important thing to note and keep in mind is that a ton of different cryptocurrencies use the Ethereum blockchain. So if you own different cryptocurrencies like Avalanche, Polygon, Uniswap, and any other ERC20 tokens, you would simply use your Ethereum address to receive the crypto. And if you aren't sure if the crypto you have is an ERC20 token, on your web browser, go to coingecko.com, type the crypto in the search bar in the top right hand corner of the screen, select the correct cryptocurrency, and in the right hand corner, next to contract, you can see the Ethereum logo. If you search for a crypto and there is no contract option with the Ethereum logo, then it's not an ERC20 token. Cool. So we are going to transfer some crypto from different exchanges to our new Coinbase wallet. Let's transfer some Ether from Crypto.com exchange to our new Coinbase wallet. First, open the Coinbase wallet app, tap the receive button, tap the copy button next to your Ethereum address to copy it to your clipboard, and then open the Crypto.com exchange app. Tap on accounts in the bottom left of the screen, then tap crypto wallet and choose Ethereum, of which I have about $100 worth on the exchange. Tap the transfer button, then tap withdraw and choose external wallet. Next, tap add wallet address. Make sure you are using the ERC20 network because that's the Ethereum network. And then paste the Ethereum wallet address we copied from the Coinbase wallet app into the field provided. Give the wallet a name and tap continue. Depending on your security settings, you may need to enter a pin code or code from an authenticator account. Nice. Now that the wallet is added, tap the withdraw button next to it, choose an amount and tap withdraw. Keep in mind you need to make sure you have enough crypto to cover any transaction fees in addition to the amount you are sending or else the withdraw button will be grayed out. Double check all the information on the confirm withdrawal screen and then tap confirm. Enter any authentication requirements like a PIN or 2FA code if you have security settings on it and that's it. Your withdrawal request has been submitted. Typically, depending on the status of your account or the crypto networks, your ETH will show up in your Coinbase wallet in a few minutes. Cool. Next, let's transfer some Bitcoin from Coinbase Exchange to our Coinbase Wallet app. First, open the Coinbase Wallet app, tap the Receive button, tap the Copy button next to your Bitcoin address to copy it to your clipboard, and then open the Coinbase Exchange app. Tap on Assets in the bottom left of the screen, then scroll down and tap Bitcoin. Scroll down and tap on the Bitcoin account you want to withdraw from, and then tap the arrow button in the top right hand corner of the screen. In the To field, Paste the Bitcoin address we copied from the Coinbase wallet app and tap continue. Next, enter the amount of Bitcoin you want to send, then tap preview. Double check all of the details for the transaction and then tap send now. Enter any authentication codes required if you have security settings enabled and that's it. Your Bitcoin was successfully sent from the exchange to your Coinbase wallet app and will show up in a few minutes. Sweet. Next, let's transfer some Dogecoin from Binance Exchange to our Coinbase wallet app. First, open the Coinbase wallet app, tap the receive button, scroll down and tap the other assets option, tap Dogecoin, and tap the copy button next to your Dogecoin address to copy it to your clipboard, and then open the Binance Exchange app. Tap the wallet in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, tap Dogecoin, tap withdraw, a warning ensuring you have selected the Dogecoin network to withdraw Doge will appear. Tap Withdraw Doge. Paste the Dogecoin wallet address we copied from the Coinbase wallet app and tap Next. Type in the amount of Doge you want to withdraw, then tap Preview Withdraw. Review all the transaction details, then tap Withdraw Doge. Enter any two-factor authentication requirements based on your security settings, and you will get a notification that an email was sent to confirm the withdrawal. Open the email and click the link provided, and then you should see a confirmation notification of the withdrawal. Amazing. So hopefully this whole transferring crypto from exchanges to your own wallet is a lot easier than you may have originally thought. Now that you've got your crypto off of an exchange to your very own hot wallet, meaning it was created on a device connected to the internet, which is your cell phone, the next important step we need to take as crypto investors is by investing in a cold storage hardware wallet. Ledger is a leading cryptocurrency cold storage hardware wallet provider with a wide selection of cost-effective cold storage hardware wallet devices. Now, in addition to the Onyx Black Ledger Nano X device, we can choose between their new color options of blazing orange and cosmic purple. With their Ledger Nano X devices, you can manage your crypto and NFTs on the go by connecting the Ledger Nano X to the Ledger Live app on your smartphone via Bluetooth. On the Ledger Live app, you can grow your crypto by earning staking rewards with cryptocurrencies like Tezos, Cosmos, Algorand, and Polkadot. The Ledger Nano X allows you to manage over 5,500 different cryptos and tokens, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and more. So if you haven't invested in securing your long-term crypto holdings with cold storage hardware wallets, be sure to scroll down and use the links in the description area below to access the correct and official sites 
as well as redeem any special offers they have going on, all while supporting the channel. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification to stay up to date on all of the latest videos. So, what did you think of the wallet setup process? Was transferring crypto from exchanges easier than you thought? Are you going to invest in a cold storage hardware wallet? Let me know in the comments below. Be safe out there.